Hi everyone, so this is a first vid for the second lesson of the updated 2023 quadratics pack. It's solving quadratics by factorisation. Right, so let's give it a go then. So we know, hopefully from school, we're looking for two numbers that multiply together to give 21. So you multiply together to give 21 where the difference is minus 4. So it has to be a minus 7 and a plus 3. There. Then hopefully you're happy that that bracket is equal to 0. So it's equal to 7. Or that bracket is equal to 0. So it's equal to minus 3. Another one here. Take the 5 over, I've got 6x squared minus 7x minus 5 is 0. So the way I do this, I think of numbers which multiply together to give me 30, which is 6 times 5, where the difference is 7. So you can kind of do a little bit of a split around, but the way you can split it, you can see it as... Um, let's think about this. So we want a 3x times 2x to give us a 6x squared. And I need to think about the 3x and the 2x. If I multiply them together, how can I get that kind of the, uh, the 30? So if you mess around, whichever way you work it, so you can split the middle term, you can do all the different ways on this one that you want. But eventually, you will get a 3x minus 5 and a 2x plus 1 out, hopefully. So 3x minus 5 is 0, take 5 over and divide through by the 3. So you get a 5 over 3. Take the 1 over, divide through. There. So there's different ways of seeing it. So if I'd look at it and say 6 times 5 is 30, what numbers multiply to get to that? Or I can still get the minus 7. It can be a little bit messy, but you can work out factors and make it happen. Oh, I've got a difference of two squares there, look, a bit sneaky. And we've got another one here. Oh, where's my delete? Uh, so you see what they've done? They've split that plus x up into a plus 6x minus 5x. Whatever works for you, so it's a bit of an answer. And to be fair, we're going to use our calculator now. So we have a graphical calculator, it's absolutely awesome. Hopefully you've paid for it, you've got one. Uh, what it means is we can be a little bit sneaky and we can go back. Um, so what I might do is, I might work out, like I'll show you on the calculator, I'll show you for this the one before. There we go, this is 6x squared on here. So on my calculator, on your graphical calculator that you get, I'm going to put this into my calculator. So I look at the numbers that go on it. That I'm going to go to, so from your main menu, you're going to go down to equation. And then you're going to press polynomial, so F2 for poly. It's a quadratic, so because it's got x squared, it's degree 2, which is that one. And all I do is put the numbers in. So my a value, the bit next to the x squared is 6. 6 then x -y. Then I've got minus 7, then x -y, and minus 5, then x -y. And that will give me, straight out, 5 thirds, or minus a half. Now what I want to do is I'm use my calculator to get those numbers out, but I want to be a little bit sneaky, and I still want to write down these brackets, which is what this page is all about. So if I've got these numbers out, working backwards, I'd say the x is minus 1 is really an x plus 1. The x is 3 is really an x minus 3. So what I'd do is I'd write that stage down, I'd write it above it. Well, this is kind of going back, because this wants us to go back to the original equation. There. Equation in the factorised form. There. 
So this one, B, you've got to be really, really careful with it because you want to take a five up before you move the four. So what happens is people would write it down as X minus four over five, but that's wrong. I don't want that. I've got to take the five over first, so it's a five X, and then I've got to take the four over. I've got an X plus one. Yeah. Now, I think it wants it as y equals, but I don't know how much plus So I take the 3 up, I take the 2 over, I take the 5 up, I take the 1 over. There. So if I look at these questions for you, oops, I think they'll do it as y equals. Yeah, see, so look, y equals. Uh, delete. Delete. I mean, I guess it does say the original equation, doesn't it? Uh, there. So there's some more examples for you to have a go at. So let's have a look at these ones then. Right, so uh, I'm going to factorise these. So I'm going to be sneaky. I'm going to use my calculator. So I'll press exit. And then it's 6, minus 7, and minus 3. You have to remember these answers because they'll disappear off my screen in a minute. So I've got 3 over 2, so I've got an, an x is 3 over 2, and I've got an x is minus a third, haven't I? So this is my little sneaky answer. Uh, so I know I've got x is minus a third, and I know I've got x is 3 over 2. So I know that. I know I've got these as my little sneaky answers from my calculator. So I need to take the 3 up. And then add on the 1, so that will give me a 3x plus 1 as a factor. I need to take the 2 up and take the 3. So that gives me a 2x minus 3. So I do that one and I've done that one. And there, there we go. Uh, so it's got factorised there, hasn't it? So the next one, let's go back on this one. So this next one, so press exit and then change my coefficients. So I've got minus 6, or A, a 7, and a 3. Uh, so now I've got to be a little bit more careful here. Now these are the same solutions as before, but it's upside down. So it's the same solutions as before. But if you look, all the signs are reversed. So, those signs are on a problem. So, I can have the 3x plus 1 and the 2x minus 3. They're going to be the same. But because it's upside down, because all the signs are reversed, I just need to stick a minus in front of it. And that do is for that. What you could do is carry the minus from um, one of the sets of brackets, which I reckon this other example will have done. There, can you see how they took it, they took it through there? So for us, I guess what I could do is slightly rewrite this first one as 1 minus 3x. Right, now, do you know what? I'm going to rewrite the second one. It's easy to do. Is that going to be the minus 1 minus 3x? Whereas I could just add that as 3 minus 2x. There you go. There. Hitting 9 minutes, I'm getting quite tired now, so I'm probably going to stop. Um, I think there's some questions on the next page which you haven't got on. So that's quite good. A good place to stop.